Fitness and breaking news right now of a early morning structure fire in West Tulsa. And two news is Amanda Slee is on scene for us. She's been there all morning and she shares what we know so far. Amanda, good morning. I'm on Admiral near Nogales, just west of downtown. Uh, the fire marshal is on scene, but I want to kind of step off and show you the scene right now because things are kind of getting a little more active once again. Just about uh, maybe 15 minutes ago, we saw more of the second floor of this uh, building collapse into that front area that has the most damage. And when that happened, there was fire personnel inside the building that came running out. And then all of a sudden we started seeing some smoke coming from the building once again. So they're definitely putting out some hot spots that are still uh, going on. Uh, now looking at some of the video from earlier today, uh, I'm going to tell you some information about how this started about um, 2 a.m. They came and they saw heavy fire. They did an initial search in the building because there were reports of an elderly man and a dog that was living inside this, what they call an occupied vacant building. Um, but they didn't seem to find anyone or any animals inside. But now with the hot spots they and how big the fire was, they are dealing with some structural issues and those are concerning. So PSO came out and had to turn off power lines. We shut off the power to the building immediately. Um, PSO shut down the power lines running down the alley uh, just for a safety issue for us if that building does come down or if we happen to get into them with our ladders some way. Uh, it's just a safety concern. He says that the roof is sagging and walls are cracking and there's holes in the floor. And as I said, the second floor is already collapsing into the, the first floor. So right now, crews are repositioning their trucks and assessing the situation and attacking those new hot spots. As we start to see that smoke come out, they're really focusing on that top area right now. We'll continue to bring you updates on this uh, fire as it happens. I mean, not as it happens, but we'll continue to bring you updates both on air on online at kjrh.com. Amanda Slee, 2 News Oklahoma. Oh, thank you so much, Amanda. Yeah, earlier we saw a firefighter over her shoulder going inside that building, so uh, good to know that.